Yo, my ass is fucking hungry. Get over here. Genesis, hurry your bitch ass up. I'm hungry. All right, fuck this. I'm hungry. I'm making food. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Sims 4. Now, today, Gary's house has been sold. Okay, meet Bobby Higginbotham. And today we're gonna just hang out for a little bit, hang out with him. He's gonna get acquainted with the neighborhood, with the neighbors. And we're just gonna have fun today, so let's hop right on in. Okay, first things first, we just moved to a new town, knew everything, we need to find a job. You know what, yeah, I think we're gonna become a politician. Fuck yeah, work assignment, choose a cause to support. Should Bobby Higginbotham get a jump start and accept- Sure, fuck it. Let's choose a cause to support. Where's the computer? Here's the computer. Oh, I gotta choose a cause before I could do anything on the computer. So I, I could, I just do that. Okay, so we're gonna do foundation for less mischief. Fucking Willow Creek. <coughs> Willow Creek is a nice town, but uh, there's been murder recently. Oh, he's getting in the, what the fuck? I didn't know homeboy had a Speedo. So I only made his everyday outfit. I didn't actually like choose any of his other outfits because I wanted to just kind of get it over with and start the gameplay. I did not know Homeboy had a Speedo. Anyway, yeah, Willow Creek, it's a nice town. It's a, it's a wonderful town, but uh, there is murder that runs pretty rampant in this town. So I would like to try and put an end to the murder. <laughs> Yo, so we walked across the street to Tyler's house, or I think... I forget if he's across the street. Yeah, he's right next door. And we just never... We just never put clothes on. We're just gonna go say what's up to Tyler in our fucking Speedo. Whoa, Tyler just walked out mad as shit. Where are you going, Tyler? Are you going to laugh at Guillermo? Yeah, I fucking knew it. I'm gonna give him a friendly introduction. Hey, I'm Bobby. I'm your new senator. How you doing? Is he a senator? What is he? Storm of flame. He's an unruly activist. Okay, so he goes to like protests with signs and shit. I, I, you know what? I gotta console him about death. Tyler, listen, I heard what happened to your old next door neighbor, okay? I know you two were friends. But listen, I want you to know I can be your friend too, okay? I'm probably not gonna hang out with you all the time. I got my own shit going on. You got your own shit going on, but uh, I just want you to know I am here for you, buddy. Now, I'm gonna promote my cause. Hey, so listen, I know you want to stop murder just as bad as I do. Oh, oh, he's walking away. He doesn't want to hear about my bullshit. Tyler is listening to Bobby's passionate remarks about the cause and is feeling inspired to take action. Congrats. All right, cool. Yeah, we can prevent other Garys from being murdered in the future. And now we're just going to... Uh-oh, uh, Stacy got up. She didn't want to say hi. She's going in. She still has her friggin' nice clothes on. From when she went to go troll the forums. Mans! Wait, come here, Mans. You gotta meet our new friend. Hey, how's it going, Mans? I'm your new senator. I'm lying. I'm only an unruly activist. But I will be senator one day. Mans don't care. He's chasing his tail. Alright, let's go introduce ourselves to Stacy. Hi, Stacy. How you doing? I'm your new senator. We can protest the foundation for less mischief here. Plus, Quexel run shoot. Okay, yeah, we're protesting the Foundation for Less Mischief right here in Tyler's Kitchen. No more mischief! No more murderers! Gary's death will be avenged, even though it was avenged in the last episode. The killer was caught and arrested. But we will stop this shit from happening again! Yes, we will! Yeah, who's with me? The crowd seems absolutely just... His words are captivating them. <laughs> as soon as I told him to stop protesting, it went right back into the speedo. <laughs> the Uber driver is just, he, he don't care. He, he's like, yo, you want to wear your speedo? Go ahead and wear your speedo. Live free, my friend. So we met Tyler, we met Stacy, we met Mittens. Now we're going to go meet Terry. And I think Bobby is actually going to be one person that doesn't hate Terry. I think we're going to be friends with Terry. Because you know what? Terry needs a friend. Everybody fucking hates Terry. Even Gary hated Terry. May he rest in peace. Yo, what's up, Terry? I'm your new senator. <laughs> Been for Terry does not seem to care. 
one. Okay, I'm currently lying to Terry about my career. I don't know why I'm doing that, but for some reason I'm telling him that uh, I created Google. Does he believe me? Nah, he doesn't believe me. He's actually very offended. He got up and he started walk. Oh! No, he got up because he was so moved by what I was saying. Oh, but I got up. Well, I acquired the mischief skill. Bobby's new skill in mischief will allow him to do trick with hand buzzer and several other mischievous social interactions. As the skill level increases, new mischief interactions will be unlocked. But it's 9.30 at night. We are tired as fuck. Well, we're not really that tired, but we're still gonna go to bed. We have to work in the morning. We do not. We have the day off. Then we can go around tomorrow and meet more people. Ah, oh, shit. Is Gary coming to haunt? Yeah, Gary came to haunt, and he's bored. Why the hell are you bored? All right, well, let's go say hi to Gary. Hey, Gary, I'm Bobby. I'm the guy who lives here now. I see that you're the guy who lived here previously until he was brutally murdered right over there. Well, let's, let's give, we're going to give Gary fake bad news. So, Gary, they never found your killer, by the way. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they found her. They locked her up. She's been in jail for about a month. And Gary is haunting his own tombstone. I gotta be honest, under like... I would actually be a little terrified. That would be kind of creepy. Like in the context of the game, it's fucking ridiculous. But like in real life, that'd be scary. Oh, now Gary's doing sit-ups. I guess we could just go back to bed. You know, we can follow Gary around while Bobby sleeps. Ooh, guys. Should we try and get Gary back in the house as a ghost? I think we should. Let's befriend him. Hey, hey, no, I don't want to cook together with. Here, get your ass up. You don't got to work tomorrow. We got to become his friends. Okay, I'm telling a joke about politicians despite the fact that I myself end one. Gary was barely listening when Bobby tried to promote their cause. It's difficult to tell if he disagrees with Bobby or simply doesn't care. Yeah, I guess in, in Gary's head, he's probably got other shit. Oh, Gary doesn't like Bobby now. What the fuck? All right, let me go apologize. I'm sorry. I, I I get it. You got a lot on your plate, being dead and all. I just I'm a politician, dude. I got I gotta promote my shit no matter what. Oh, now he's feeling goofy. What's over there? Now, how the fuck do you scare a ghost, Gary? You're a ghost. You're dead. How did that fucking scare you? Where are you going? Don't you dare! No, I gotta lie about my career. No, he's going back to the grave. No, Gary! Alright, I'll see you in like three days. Bastard leaving his puddles everywhere. Alright, clean this shit up. No, don't eat yet, dude. You gotta take your ass back to bed. Alright, 10 a.m. Perfect time to wake up. Let's go take a shit. Let's go take a shower. Oh, the welcome wagon's here. How long does that last? Five hours. Okay, who's there? The Clevengers are here! And Genesis Boyle. Let's invite our neighbors in after I'm done taking a shit. I'll invite them in, then I'll go take a shower. Hello, hello, welcome in. Now, you you ladies, excuse me. I'm gonna go slip myself into something a little more comfortable, winky face. Glutton lesson. Bobby is a glutton. Gluttonous sims can eat and eat and eat anything, but beware if you let them grow hungry. I'm gonna greet all my new neighbors. Yeah, I'm gonna greet Summer, and then I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna cook together with Genesis Boyle. We're gonna cook vegetable dumplings. Hey, Summer. All right, now now I said hi, I'm gonna cook some food. All right, come on, gather for group cooking, Genesis. Yo, my ass is fucking hungry, get over here. Genesis, hurry your bitch ass up, I'm hungry. All right, fuck this. I'm hungry, I'm making food. Ah, oh, shit. Bobby started a fire. Well, how's that for a welcome party, guys? I think Summer ran out the door, she was scared. Yeah, Summer got scared, dude. She ran the fuck outside. Listen, I'm still gonna finish the damn food. I, I don't fucking care. Food for us. How nice. Genesis, I know your ass isn't gonna come over here to eat the food. When I asked you to make the food with me, and you rudely declined. So it's food for everybody except you. Well, I'm not tense anymore. I'm confident because I'm a firefighter. We should probably go. Welcome again. Well, thank you. I don't know if, like, you guys had a good time or not. But Summer, wait. I'm gonna tell a joke about ducks. Oh, let's let's chat with Summer. Maybe, uh, you know, Summer, me and you, maybe we can do a little something-something. 
Yeah! <laughs> yeah. You like these muscles? Yeah! Oh, he didn't give her tickets to the gun show. He just kind of pointed at him and was like, you like this? Tyler Dodge is wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Tyler, this isn't the best time. Can I bring Summer with me? I can, so I'm gonna. Maybe we can bang on his bed, I don't know. The Dodge Residence! Hello, friends. Can I, like, calm her down? She's tense from the fire. Whoa, I don't want to hook her up with anybody, okay? I want to hook her up with myself. The Spice Festival is in town. Click on any of the dynamic signs around town to find out more. Bobby has learned the following preferences about Summer. She dislikes retro music. You don't like shit that came out before, like, like oh, what well, define retro. We talking, like, shit that's before 1990? 1980? 1970? Or are we talking about shit before 2000? Because I gotta be real with you, I don't really like 90s music either. But I fucks with the 80s pretty heavily. Oh, hey, Stacy. Stacy, why are you fucking flirty? I'm not trying to flirt with you, I'm trying to flirt... The summer. Let me propose a crazy scheme. I'm proposing a crazy scheme. Then I'm gonna attempt the pickup line. We'll see how it works. And Stacy was very scared by my crazy scheme. Oh no! Summer didn't like my pickup line. Now she's embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Summer's gone now. Who the fuck are you? Hey, here that the bubble blower at the spice festival has some awesome flavors. You wanna? She left. But then she invited me to the, the Spring Festival or whatever the fuck it was called. The Spice Festival. Fuck yeah. Alright, so now we gotta blow bubbles at a bubble blower. It's happy hour at the karaoke bar. Everybody enjoys drinks at a discounted price. Let's go! Alright, where's the bubble blower? Yo, Summer, do you know where a bubble blower is? Oh, shit. That's right. The fucking festival's actually over here. Yo, don't be buying drinks. You gotta blow bubbles at the bubble blower. Summer invited you to blow fucking bubbles. Uh, Summer, I saw that. I know it's fast forwarding, but I still saw that. You took that hit like a little pussy. Let me show you how it's done. Uh, he took the hit like a pussy too. Well, we got a gold medal because we blew bubbles and that's all we had to do. It's alright, Summer. You'll improve with time. Uh, uh, she doesn't want to improve with time. She just wants to get the fuck out of here. Wait, Summer! I'm sorry! I can change! Oh, she just wants a hot dog. I'm dazed from using the bubble blower. Oh, what the fuck did they put in that bubble blower? Is it... Oh! Now I get it. Because today's 420. That's weed in there. So now him and Summer are just fucking stoned. Hey, yo. I want a hot dog, but I don't want to pay. Give me one for free. Are you crazy? I'm already losing money at these prices. Alright, well, can I just... I'm gonna give you a rude introduction. I'm gonna fight this man, because he wouldn't give me a hot dog for free. Would you fucking give him a rude introduction, please? There we go. There's the rude introduction. There we go. Yeah, you pissed off the wrong sim, dude. I say you give me a hot dog, you give me a motherfucking hot dog. Hey, get your bullshit out of here, dude. I, I, I ain't playing. Yo, this motherfucker looks like Adam Sandler. All right, now he's dazed. I'm confident. I won the fight. Awesome. Let's get the fuck out of here. So we're gonna go take a shit. What are we embarrassed from? Heartless haggler. Sometimes the price of trying to lowball is failure and shame. Mostly shame. Yeah, but it's okay though, because we kicked his ass. Okay, so we got one more thing we want to do before we end the gameplay, but I think first I'm gonna have to go to work. I want to go visit Leonard. That way we could say we visited everybody. I was gonna do that today, you know, while I had the day off, but then the welcome wagon happened, and, you know, I, I try I unsuccessfully tried to flirt with Summer, and then we went to the friggin' festival, so we're just gonna wake up, go to work, and we'll come home and we'll antagonize Leonard a little bit. We probably won't antagonize him. I just said that to be funny, but we will go meet Leonard. Work for Bobby starts in about one hour. What would you like to do? Go to work, work from home. We can work from home? That's actually kind of cool. We're going to go to work, but like, that's cool for like a future episode. We could have him working from home. Oh, it went stinky right before I could have him eat it. But I don't think he cares because he's a glutton. All right, we got promoted to campaign intern. He will now make an additional $10 per hour for a grand total of $26 per hour. He has also received the following bonus, $172 and the debate politics interaction. His next shift is 
His next shift, oh my goodness, is Sunday at 8 a.m. Let's go! And now what we're going to do to celebrate is we're going to hire a maid. Thank you for hiring for Maids United. Your maid will arrive on Monday! Yo, my house is a fucking mess now! I thought, like, I know they don't come on the weekends, but I would have thought that Tyler would like to come over and hang out. Sure, why not? We'll go to Leonard's together. All right, 1463 Rich Street. Let's go knock on that door. All right, come on in. Where's this bitch at? He's in here watching TV, standing up. That's weird. I'm gonna give him a friendly introduction. Well, hey, you Leonard. Know. How you doing? I'm new. I'm Bobby. I'm a senator. Ah, oh. Stoba. I'm a senator for Willow Creek, though. You know, you're all the way out here in Newcrest. Dag, dag. Well, I could debate politics from the left or from the right. Yo, that's kind of cool. I don't know. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, yeah. Should we make Bobby a Democrat or a Republican? Bobby, We're going to ask Leonard about his favorite color because, dude, you know, that's the real questions. All right? I don't give a fuck about politics. I want to know what your favorite color is. Bobby has learned the following preferences about Leonard. And he dislikes the color yellow. Yo, what the fuck you got against the color yellow, dude? That's a fucking awesome color. It's the color of the sun. It's the color of bananas. It's the color of lemons. The color yellow is awesome, Leonard. You know what? Fuck you. We're going. We're going home. So we've successfully met everybody. We had a welcome wagon. We went to the. We got stoned because it's 420. We got promoted at work. I would say today's been a pretty successful day. Take a piece. All right, yeah. Take a fucking piece. What is that? Is that bread? Gourmet. Gourmet fruit cake. Okay. You, you know what? Yeah. Have a piece of fruit cake, dude. You earned it. <laughs> but that is gonna be the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys next week Peace.